I'm gonna take you guys through a chillin' and getting into alignment uh, meditation. But first I'm gonna tell you a really quick story about the first thing that I manifested and this was how I did it. So I homeschool uh, my kids and a couple other kids are in our school. And one of the kids asked me, what are you drinking? And I had some Earl Grey tea that I was drinking. So I told him, you know, I'm drinking this Earl Grey tea. Um, and I asked him, have you ever had a London fog? And he said, no, which if you've never had a London fog, they're delicious. It's basically Earl Grey tea with steamed milk um, and it's sweetened with, I would sweeten it with honey. Um, and anyways, they're delicious. But my point is, he's telling me about this and then I'm, or I'm telling him about this and all I'm doing is talking about a London fog. He's never had one and I'm like, you gotta have one because they're totally amazing. Keeping in mind, I actually haven't had one myself in years. I used to work, um, I rented a space and next door was a coffee shop. So I used to have them once in a while, but it has literally been like th three years at least since I'd had one. So that's in the morning. Um, then I come to work in the afternoon and my last client of the day walks in and brings me an Earl Grey tea. And I'm like, what? How did this happen? I had been talking about it however many hours before, and then it comes to me. I now know exactly why. I know exactly how that happened because I was talking about something that I wanted and there was no resistance there. I didn't care whether I got a tea or not. I wasn't even thinking like that I needed somebody to bring me one. I was just talking about how much I liked it and then bam, all of a sudden it was there. So it was a good feeling combined with zero resistance. And I'm putting this out there like, I love this thing. So I had been doing, so this was the thing. This was how it happened. I had been doing these meditations that were just about what I like, what I love. So I would just close my eyes and that's what we're going to do here today. And then go on a mental rampage about essentially the things in the world that I really, really liked. And now the very first time I did this, I probably went on for like 15 minutes because it was just endless. It just couldn't end. I was like thinking about green grass and then, oh, well, there's little ducks running through the grass. Oh, those little ducks feet are so cute. Oh, they swim in the water. And it just led from one thing to another, to another, to another. And I was like, there's so many good, amazing things in this world. So I started using that kind of as my basis of just thinking about all of these things that I like, and then I would finish it with something that I wanted. But it was kind of hard and it still kind of is. It's kind of difficult to come up with something that you want when you feel so satisfied with everything that you already have, you don't even really want anything. So I would kind of come up with obscure things after this. Like I manifested myself a lemon and you know, just totally random things that I was like, if a lemon showed up, that would be weird. I live in Saskatchewan. So there's not supposed to be lemons growing on trees or any anywhere around here. So I would just kind of pick obscure things that would just prove to me and show me like, yes, you asked for this. It's been however many hours or a day and you already got it. So I'm going to lead you through a meditation here. So this is just the, I love everything meditation. So just start by closing your eyes and you're going to connect with your heart just by raising the corners of your mouth just a little tiny bit. Perfect. Now, as you do that, I want you to just imagine the most beautiful day that the sky is beautiful and bright and the sun is just shining on your skin and that sun feels so nice on your skin. Maybe there's a little bit of a breeze in the air and there's probably some trees that are just playing their beautiful natural music as those leaves just rustle a little bit in the wind. And perhaps there's even beautiful birds in those trees. Or maybe it's beautiful birds flying up above. Perhaps there's beautiful flowers that are surrounding you. And those beautiful flowers have little hummingbirds flying from flower to flower. And beautiful bees with their 
healing vibrations vibrating and collecting their pollen from flowers and from the flowers on the trees and perhaps there's even some cute, adorable little baby animals that are around you that are just so adorable and so beautiful and so fun and so full of life. And as you think about all of these beautiful things, perhaps you could even think about the intricacies of a butterfly's wings how they're uniquely made, how they're ornate, the brilliance of the beautiful design on their wings and their wings themselves. Perhaps you could think about all the beautiful colors of the hummingbirds. And those hummingbirds really are perfectly and beautifully made, covered in feathers that help them to fly and protect their skin. With their nice little hollow bones so that they can fly wherever they need to go. And that beautiful sweet water that they like to drink. Perhaps you could even imagine that beautiful rainbow in all of its colors, just painted in the sky for you to see. Right after that beautiful rain that falls down on the earth and just gets everything wet and that nice smell of that wet grass or even that wet dirt and pavement that comes after that beautiful rain. Perhaps you even like the sound of the rain and the wind and that cozy feeling that you have when you're inside and that rain is outside. Maybe you could even think about a nice warm fireplace in the middle of winter with that snow blanketing the earth and you cozy and nice in front of that warm fireplace, which feels so nice. And perhaps you decide that you want to go in and take a nice bath in a nice warm tub filled with bubbles and just relax in that nice, soft, calm, beautiful, warm water. And maybe the scents of the bubbles fills your senses and you could even think about the smile on other people's faces when you meet them on the street. You could even think about how it makes you feel when someone says something really sweet and kind to you. You could think about the beauty and the magnitude of the stars in the sky that go on for always and always and always and always and always. And as you fill your lungs with that sweet, sweet, beautiful air that is in the room that you're in right now, it's beautiful. You could even think about this air and how it connects all of us together. I exhale. You breathe the air that I breathe, I breathe the air that you breathe. Even the flowers and the trees, we all share this air, we all breathe it. It's just energy. And that beautiful harmony and connection that we have with everybody else is just so sweet, just like that heart. So just imagine here taking that beautiful star out of the sky, pluck it down, you're going to put it inside your sweetheart and just let it start to radiate its beautiful white light. Just bringing that nice soft glow and warmth and calm and peace inside of you and it just tells you everything's all good, all is well. And then just putting that nice, beautiful connection to your heart back on your face, lifting the corners of your mouth there a little bit more now. 
and just take a nice deep breath here and you're just going to start to bat those beautiful eyes all the way back open and back into the room good job it feels good doesn't it so this just like feeling good this is the feeling that you're after so care about how you feel if you're not feeling good do something about it really care about how you feel it matters